Biosimilar drugs are fundamentally different from generic drugs. Understanding the unique features for biosimilar drugs is critical to understanding the unique nature of competition that biologic drugs introduce and the implications for litigation in the future. To understand what biologic drugs are, consider that there's really two main types of drugs in the pharmaceutical industry. One is a very simple chemical drug, what you're traditionally used to. They're sold in pill form and they're chemically synthesized. And the other is biologic drugs, which are drugs that are grown from cells. A biologic drug is a very complex drug, much more difficult to characterize and to see what it looks like in terms of the molecular structure. Generic drugs are cheaper versions of traditional drugs, and it's a case where a generic manufacturer is able to create a drug that looks identical to the traditional drug made by the brand manufacturer. A biosimilar drug is something that tries to approximate what the brand biologic looks like, but we're not able to really tell scientifically whether they've created the identical molecule or not. There are a number of differences between biosimilar and generic drugs that may result in a very different looking market for biosimilars than what we've experienced in the past for generic drugs. With generic drugs, the starting perception is that they're all the same. The generic drugs are the same, and they're the same as the brand. And that's how the FDA approves them, by calling them interchangeable. Because generic drugs are very cheap to make, it makes it easy for really competition to come down to just price. The generic offers a very low price, nobody markets the drugs, and the generic is accepted in the market because it has such a lower price compared to the brand. With biosimilars, there's a lot of differences. A biosimilar drug one is more expensive to make, so there might not be the same opportunities to discount price at the level that you observe for a generic drug. But the other important difference is that biosimilars are not perceived to all be the same, and they're not perceived to be the same as the brand. Understanding how competition will evolve for biosimilars really requires understanding how each stakeholder at each step in the distribution chain will react to biosimilar drugs, including the manufacturers, the pharmacies, the physicians, the patients, and the payers people who reimburse for the drugs as well. Because many biosimilars and biologic drugs are administered by physicians, it has implications for how physicians are reimbursed for the use of those drugs on the patients. It has implications for the regulations governing the use of the drugs that are different from what we observe for generic drugs. It is also possible that physicians and payers will require more scientific evidence to demonstrate that the biosimilar is the same as the biologic drug. One area of uncertainty at the moment is whether FDA will expand not only biosimilar approval but consider ratings of interchangeability between the biosimilar and the brand drug, and what requirements it will place on biosimilar manufacturers in order to get an interchangeable rating. The complex nature of biologic and biosimilar drugs raises unique intellectual property, antitrust, and product liability issues for future litigation. For example, because biologic drugs are so much more complex than traditional drugs, they tend to have a very different looking patent portfolio. And the patents that are important to preserving their exclusivity on the market tend to be different. For example, the process of making a biologic drug can be a very important process patent technology. While biosimilars in the U.S. are a fairly recent phenomenon, Analysis Group has been working on the issue of biosimilars for over a decade. We're starting to see litigation with respect to biosimilar entry, mostly on the patent litigation side. But we anticipate that this will expand into antitrust litigation and other types of litigation. One reason for that is that biologics tend to be very large revenue drugs. There's a lot at stake, both for the brand manufacturer and for potential biosimilar entrants.